Hi class, it's Mrs. Giroux here on day 56 and we're continuing our units on contrast and pattern. We are on week 12, okay? And we're incorporating complex patterns in our optical illusion art from last week, okay? We're gonna be doing a writing for success later this week. Last week you completed test number one and we're going to go over those in class and grade them. So I hope you're here on that day. And correct them so that they will make a great study guide for your final exam. So again, we're on day 56, contrast op art using pattern. We're using um, great craftsmanship. Your complex needs to be original and very well executed. And your composition is how things are arranged. So I'm going to show you... Um, three different examples. This one is very, very good. This one is uh, the stage. You at least need to be at this stage, probably a little bit further than this one. And this is um, the optical illusion has at least two spheres on it. It has more than that. Composition is very nice. Um, and then they're starting to color in the black and the white with the marker. Okay, if you're at home, you can use a Sharpie, but we don't use Sharpies here. Just water-based marker is fine. You'll need a fine tip for the smaller areas. But what I'm paying attention to is good craftsmanship. So your edges need to be really, really good. Okay, and this is very nice. Okay, this is one that, you're, that this person started. This is outstanding, possibly inclusion into the art exhibit at the end of the year. It's really, really well done. Okay, so they finished the black and the white. She did. And Manika actually is doing an incredible job with the coloring using value as you were instructed. You're adding value, you're layering colored pencils, making it lighter maybe towards the middle. Okay, again, layering the colored pencils, not just coloring it in like a coloring book. Anybody can do that. So when you pay attention to our uh, example up here on the board, okay, and we have that in a couple places in the room, you're going to notice that. Okay, value shading. So that's what you need to do. It takes some layering of colors. Okay, here is one that uh, just got started on. I think they'll probably end up going back a little bit once they see this. Um, it's not necessarily dividing the white spaces into two different colors. It's blending on top and layering the colors. So that would be um, an interesting start right here, but they need to go much, much further than that so that there's a lot of blending. I can tell this person knows what to do because they're a little bit better right here okay and blending the colors but not right here so think about how you're going to do that again this is the exemplary um, design outstanding use of colors okay you can really see overall composition is going to be out really really outstanding and great craftsmanship so when you're coloring you're using colored pencils and you're trying to create a further illusion by adding your colored pencils dark to light, maybe layering some. There are even some metallic colored pencils. I don't know if that shows up right there. But these give you a great idea with how to proceed. Okay, and they are due um, in two more days. So hopefully you're working at that at home. And I will 